Oh, Carlo? Hi, Carlo. So, what's the mindset starting this new place? And you're used to it, but hmm. here is different. So, what's the yeah. difference? Well, I mean, um, it's great to play at home. <laughs> you know, I, I live here. I use it as a base for the last almost 15 years. Um, I know very well all the people in the club, as I was saying in the past years. And uh, so, it's, it's a really unique feeling. Uh, and, and the transformation of this club is quite. Uh, amazing, you know, comparing to the other times of the year when you don't have a tournament, it's really calm and there's not many people. Uh, and, and right now it's, it's just a different world. But I, I, I like it, I embrace it, and uh, this is definitely one of my, if not the, the uh, favorite tournament to play. And um, I, you know, can't, I can't, can't wait to step on the court. I've been training. Uh, most of the players uh, <coughs> have been here. For a week, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of top players, you know, spending time, and the weather was permitting for, you know, practice, which is not at the moment. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I had a, I had a, a great last six months of last season, amazing start of this year. Uh, Indian Wells, Miami have been kind of so and so in terms of uh, how I played and the results. Um, but, you know, in Miami I was already playing better tennis than I have in Indian Wells, so I've been trying to, I'll, I'll try to pick, pick that up from there and, and, and see how it goes on clay. Obviously clay is, you know, completely different surface, it's very demanding physically, uh, tactically, you have to be more patient, more resilient, more enduring, uh, you have to be able to construct the point in various ways. Uh, it is the slowest surface in sport, and this clay courts here in Monaco are probably the slowest of the big ones that we have on the tour. So uh, yeah, I mean, this the game, my game, and everybody's game will be tested, you know, big time. But uh, that's why we're here. Yes and no. <laughs> uh, it would be it would be definitely better to uh, approach Roland Garros with a win of one of the the, the big three uh, clay court events prior to French Open. But at the same time, you know, um, I've had great Roland Garros uh, tournaments in the past, and I where I maybe didn't win any of the big ones before. So doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect completely my, my state of mind approaching Roland Garros, but um, it would definitely serve the confidence better if I, if I have one, one coming into Paris. Do you think, um, how do you see this play season? Do you think it might be a bit more open than it was the past few years? Or is well, other than one guy, sure, it's always open. <laughs> You know, uh, I think Rafa is obviously always a, a very clear favorite uh, on any clay court in the world, and and uh, it doesn't change. He's still he's still there. I mean, obviously, it depends on how he's feeling f physically. You know, he's uh, I've seen him play here, so he's been here a few days, so it seems like he's he's fine. And you know, if he's physically fit, he's definitely the, the number one guy. You know, on on this surface, without a doubt. Um, and then, you know, after him, it's, it's quite open, you know, I think uh, Zverev has done really well on clay in the, in the last few years, Dominic team, of course, um, you know, Roger is going to play as well this season, so that's, that's, that's great for tennis. I think it's, it is pretty open. I mean, I thought tennis was missing him definitely on clay last year, but you know, I, I think I, I personally, I think most of the people understood why he decided as well to, to skip the clay court season last year, and I also understand why he wants to play. So I mean, yeah, definitely for our sport, it's better that he plays, and and uh, so we're looking forward to see him. I mean, he's been playing some great tennis uh, lately. Dubai, Indian Wells, Miami is one, two out of three. Played finals in Indian Wells. I mean, as <laughs> good as good as it gets, you know. So I mean, of course, it's different surface, but 
Indian Wells um, uh, can, you know, the ball bounces quite quite high there, which kind of imitates the clay. So, I mean, he, he, he dealt with that high balls really well throughout his career. Uh, and so I, I don't see any particular big issue for him playing on this surface. I mean, he's, he won French, he won all the big ones, and he is who he is, so you always expect uh, highs from him. Yeah. I mean, as I said, you know, in Miami, it, it was already more positive. Um, I guess, you know, look, uh, I had a long break. I, I mean, I didn't play official match for over five weeks. And, uh, yeah, I had a lot going on off the court. And, um, and then, you know, I just didn't manage to uh, find my game at the right time in Indian Wells. Um, and lost in second round, second match there, and then came into in Miami pretty good, playing pretty good, and, and uh, reached the fourth round. Started very really well against Bautista there. I was six one up, and um, you know a few points from from breaking and, and maybe ending the ending. The, and I was break up actually in the second, so I, I was close to win it. And then you know match turned around. So this this is sport. It happens. You know. Um, Certainly, I was disappointed because I thought I, I was starting to play better and better. I thought I could go far. But at the same time, it is what it is. And um, as I said, I'll try to look on the positive side. I've, uh, I've had a great form in the last 12 months, great form. Um, and, and other than those two tournaments, uh, all the others I've, I've played were at least, I think, semifinals or finals. You know, uh, most of the tournaments I played, so that that's that you know that can serve only as an incentive, so to say, or confidence boost prior to uh, clay season. Last two questions, Mike. Just back to Roger a second. Uh, obviously, he's been playing well for a while, and he's been playing well for a while. Is he going to be still a serious contender to win a slam on clay? Is that? I think so. I mean, I, I mean, uh, um, certainly other slams more than Roland Garros um, for Roger are, so to say, uh, he has more chance to win other slams than than than, than Roland Garros. But he has won Roland Garros in the past. Um, he hasn't played it obviously last year or last few years, but. Um, you know, it's uh, it's it's hard to speak about Roger's level because it's it's always there. It's always at his highest. I mean, I I really uh, aside of maybe a one year where he changed the record and and dropped to I think number whatever seven eight and then he was injured for five six months, dropped his ranking to out of fifteen. Those maybe two times in the last fifteen years have been maybe where I saw him play. 10, 20 percent uh, worse than he's playing on the level that he's playing on all the time. So it's, you know, it's it's uh, always expected in a way from my side when I see him, when he, you know, see him play, compete on any level at any surface that he's gonna be at his best. That he's always going to be one of the candidates or favorites to to win any tournament. Really, I I, I can't talk about Roger in any other. Instance, you know, it's uh, that doesn't regardless of the surface. Last one, yeah. Uh, Slavarska, uh, having you won uh, seven Australian Open, I'd like to know. Come stai, amico? <laughs> How are you? It would definitely be not too bad. <laughs> um, yes, I mean, for sure. Ro beating Rafa and Roland Garros would be, uh, and he's, you know, one of the ultimate challenges of, of the sport, as it's uh, winning against uh, Roger in, in, in Wimbledon. Yeah, and uh, I've been fortunate to experience the both, so, I, uh, you know, it is quite a, 
quite a special feeling because they've dominated those surfaces so much in their in their uh, careers. Nadal not in the final. Sorry. Nadal not in the final. In the in the final of uh, Roland Garros. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there you go. You answered the question. So that would be the the match of the season. Yes. 